Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're gonna be hunting in Rancho. Today I am trying to get a really good grasp on my Rancho Whitetail grind. I'm finding that right now I'm at the stage in my grind where I'm trying to figure out where my very last zones are and that is very tough finding the last zones can be very frustrating. I'm also trying to do the big swap, which I am going to share with you guys today. I'm going to show you exactly how we go about trying to make our zones nothing but bucks, switching basically big bucks with small bucks, trying to get the larger bucks in the zones that you want to farm and move those smaller respawns to areas that you aren't going to be farming so that when you do your grind, you're gonna have the best results possible. I am gonna show you exactly where I am finding my whitetail zones here in Rancho. I just counted and I believe I am at exactly 50 zones. Now I should have closer to 60, sometimes more, but I understand that not everyone has the same amount of zones in Rancho. We all can have different amounts of zones and you don't have to have every single one to get respawns, but what I am noticing is some of my zones are respawning and quite a few of them are just not respawning at all. So we're gonna go through, I am gonna show you exactly what's happening on my Rancho map and see if we can't pop a beautiful trophy. Now this is a really nice zone. I have three max estimate whitetail here, but you never wanna leave one doe in your zone because if you do guys that zone will never get respawns it basically breaks the zone so we're just gonna take two here i am not in a tripod we're good as long as i don't kill four of them and i'm only gonna take two so this guy is actually diamond potential if he scores right at the top and splat and i did get the second beautiful okay and the other one he gets to live another day well another rotation anyway <laughs> yeah he is definitely not a diamond but he is nice 240 is definitely a really nice whitetail buck 255 is what we need for diamond so he just needs to come back bigger come back bigger my dude you can do it and there is our second one was he really max estimate jeez max estimate silver that's always a disappointment <laughs> So first things first, guys, if you do want to do some work, and I do recommend it before you really get into your whitetail grind, is trying to move your small bucks and large estimate bucks around so that you are farming nothing but big bucks in your zones. What we're gonna do is actually start with a fresh game startup, so I'm actually gonna leave and come right back. Now the reason you're doing this right at the beginning of your game startup is because we are dealing with respawns. What we're actually going to do right now is we are going to try and find a level one or a couple level one whitetail bucks that are in zones that we want to farm. We're going to shoot them. Then we're going to go to zones that are not convenient that we don't want to do in our normal rotation. And we're going to shoot them. And then we're going to change the time and go back. And there is a 50 50 chance that they will switch zones. Their respawns will. And you will get the bigger respawns where you want them to be and the smaller ones where you don't. Now, you may have to do this a few times for it to work, but it is worth taking the time to do because killing those bigger bucks is going to give you a better chance at spawning that great one. Now, figuring out where you want your farming zones to actually be is very very interesting. Let's actually see if I am getting respawns up here because lately I've been seeing nothing but does up here. So with me having 50 zones, I definitely do not need to farm every single one of them. Not even half of them do I need to farm and it isn't even possible with only being able to have 16 maximum tents on the map. So you want to pick zones that are really easy to access that you can pick up your kills nice and quick. The name of the game is speed. You want to get through this grind as fast as you possibly can and get as many deer down in one time rotation as possible. That's going to stack the odds in your favor. Now for this zone here, and we call this the Great Lakes, I have my tent and tripod below this lake. And what I actually do is call the deer in. I do use the grunt collar. I find it gets the longest range for any of the whitetail collars. You can also use the bleak collar, but this is my favorite. And this is one spot I do recommend that you get your dog to sit because it can spook the deer. And so far we have nothing here. So let's see, it is almost 10 a.m. So like, why is there nothing here? Why? <laughs> I laugh, but I find it very, very frustrating. It really is frustrating, okay. Let's keep trucking. 
So I'm really at the point where I'm scratching my head wondering where the heck are there more zones? I just can't find any more. Now I did do another run of the bottom coast and I have just a pile of whitetail zones down here. I just found that zone last night. So right now guys, I have nine whitetail drink zones along the bottom coast. Now I could even have more than that. There are definitely some gaps. So I'm wondering if a zone is gonna pop up somewhere around here. And of course they can't be past this line of render there. This one is a bit of a pain in the neck. <laughs> and I have no whitetail here either. They're, they're not respawning for me. It's very frustrating. Okay guys, so if you look at this zone right here, this is where we are. We're actually on Boot Lake. This zone is a humongous pain in the butt. Now the reason it is, is because I have to take a far shot. I mean, it's nice that I have split herd at this zone. There's a max estimate right there. And there is another one up here somewhere. There he is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot those two max estimates out and then we're gonna go find two level ones that are in zones that we actually wanna farm. The reason we don't wanna farm this zone is because I would actually have to put a tent over there or run all the way around to pick up my kills and that is not very time efficient. So this is definitely a zone I don't wanna use on the regular, but I am gonna take the time right now. We're gonna shoot two big boys out of it and then we're gonna do our rotation and look for the next two level ones and we're not going to shoot anything until we find them. Now this is the tedious, boring stuff that you do before you start a grind. It will make your grind that more efficient for you. So let's just take this guy here. Beautiful. And these ones shouldn't have spooked. No. Beautiful. All right. Here's our first big boy. 228. He is nice. Very nice. And there is our second one. 237, two beautiful big boys. And that guy was a right long heart shot. Beautiful, 274 meters. Now I'm always, always looking around, not looking for a big horn zone, but I am looking for more white tail drink zones. So always be looking around as you're doing your grind guys, because the more zones you have, the better everything is going to respawn for you. I'm noticing that some of my zones are respawning and some of them are not respawning. It's kind of like they do every few runs, but they don't every run. Okay guys, I want to show you something. Do you remember just a minute ago, we shot two max estimate bucks. There were three of them in this zone. We deliberately only shot two so that we didn't ruin the zone. I didn't want it to go down to one female. So we were careful here. And if you look at that, my zone has vanished. That should not happen. Why did that happen? Now, we did just get this zone down here, which is probably the replacement zone. I only have three zones here at Crab Claw Lake, and we do have one big boy in there, but I just don't understand why my zone vanished. And this has been happening to me, and it is driving me a little crazy. Now, we do have a level one here. Let's take him and see if we can get one of those big boys that we just shot to respawn into this zone. Perfect. So basically guys, on a fresh game startup, I have now shot three bucks, two max estimates and a level one. They are all gonna go into the respawn pool and they should respawn into the two zones that I have just shot deer out of. There is a good chance that the respawn for the level one will not respawn into this one zone. It basically has a one in three chance of respawning right here. I want one of the bigger ones to respawn here and that is what we're trying to accomplish. So we're gonna be back here, check in what is going to respawn. I actually should have shot a female just to open up a spot for another big boy to spawn in here, but I do have another two here, so we're actually in decent shape. Now I do like to do my great one grind with my bloodhound. He is awesome for tracking, but I always do try to drop all of them with a vital shot, if at all possible. 107, that is a very tiny deer. I'm actually going to leave my game and go back and check some of these zones. Let's do that. Okay guys, so I just left the game and came back and instantly, if you look over here, I now have two level two white tails and that is exactly what we were trying to do. Try to move the level ones to zones you aren't gonna use. So do that with all of your main zones and then do your grind and hopefully that will very positively affect your respawns. We wanna be shooting those big boys as much as possible. Now I'm using the 308 here. Any 4 to 8 rifle will do. The M1 is still an amazing farming rifle, but the 308's doing an amazing job. So I'm gonna stick here.
Uh oh, did I get a small one? <laughs> I couldn't see! Hopefully those were the two level twos. I have a tent here, and a tripod here. Oh yeah, and then I have a tent over here. And that first shot was absolutely beautiful, and we actually do have a gold here. Sweet. So what I'm personally trying to do, guys, is not shoot. Shoot the least amount of level ones as I possibly can. If that is all that is there, then I will shoot one of them. But I'm trying to get myself set up so that I don't have to do that. Okay, there is our first two. He is not a big one, but he is a two. Another one. Man, they are not very big, are they? 190.6. I was a little high on that shot, and this guy is a 172. Well, here's hoping weird things don't happen and these zones keep disappearing, because that is not supposed to happen. Okay guys, so this is where I have all of my whitetail zones in Rancho. I have been feverishly looking for all of my zones and I have come up with 54 zones since I made this video. So that should definitely help you to find your zones. Now your zones won't be exactly the same as mine, but they should be very similar. So hopefully that will help you to find all your zones. Now some people have over 60 zones. We aren't all gonna have the same amount of zones, but definitely try and find as many zones as you possibly can for whitetail. So here we are for some inspiration in my Whitetail Great One Grind Lodge, and I do have one, just one Whitetail Great One, so I am hoping to put another one in here. But if you guys would like to check out my Whitetail playlist, I will put it on the screen here. I have videos in here for getting a great one off of Layton, Mississippi, and of course Rancho, and all kinds of different videos to help you with your whitetail needs. And if you did enjoy the video, guys, go ahead and smash that like button. I appreciate it so much, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.